Well, here we are again. Another year has gone by. And it's been quite a busy year in 2017. Here, take a look. Shortly after the year began, we had a six below day, which led to a pipe bursting in the garage, which in turn led to a catastrophic failure in the building. This is the boiler room. We discovered water pouring down. And then it started rising because the ejector pumps had shorted out from all the water. It was panic time for sure, but it turned out okay. And then later in the month, I met Linda Cordero and friends as we went to Grant Park for the Women's March. Hi, good morning. I'm Raja, and I'm a pro-choice, pro-woman member of the United States Congress. From one of the coldest days of the year to one of the warmest, we had 70 degree temperatures and thousands of people marching for women's rights in Grant Park. Then in March, I went down to Fort Myers, where I met up with my cousin Bill and Mary Leidig for a week in the sun, and also visiting Thomas Edison's winter home and laboratory, I mean laboratory. Then we went out to the islands of Cannabis Sativa, I mean Sanibel Captiva. And while touring there, we found a place to have cocktails. Then we went to Key West, land of sun and water. Oh, and of course, places to have cocktails. Then we settled in at the Banyan Resort. On Tuesday, had a party for fellow Banyaners in my unit 401. It was a great week and we had a fun time. Then later, my cousin Pete came down and we took a danger charter. Thanks, thanks, Pete. Yeah. All right. And you know why they call it Bud Wood? Ah, uh, he's big buttons out the wood. Must be really hard. Of course, it's our heart, guys. Like, Mike came here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. So we went snorkeling, we went kayaking, and had fun on the deck with our fellow cruisers. Danger charters are really fun, and I would recommend it to anybody going to Key West. But most of all about Key West is the food. This was grits and lobster. And then I found the lobster shack that makes the most scrumptious lobster toasted cheese sandwiches. Then in June, I went to Kansas City for Cher Dombrowski and Chuck Will's 20th anniversary party. And I had been there for their wedding 20 years ago. Who wants the first piece? <laughs> in July, I went with Scott Witherall to Barrington, Illinois to visit the San Filippo Mansion, known for its Nickelodeons and music machines, and this huge pipe organ where they played a Buster Keaton silent movie and accompanied it. It was really cool. And then we got to ride the carousel. In August, I went to Wrigley Field with my co-workers to see the Cubs. But before the game, I had to go to Bernie's, our old hangout. And then I got to check out the new park that they've built outside of Wrigley Field right on Clark Street. And it actually is very nice. Then there was this beer vendor. I got beer! I got beer! Also in August, I went to Southern Illinois and visited Ed and Marcia Jackson on their farm. I traveled to Southern Illinois with my Windy City Cycling Club so we could do some riding down there which we did on the Tunnel Hill Trail. But most of all, to see the solar eclipse. Southern Illinois is the crossroads and it was a total eclipse there. If you've never seen a total eclipse, you must see it. 
you can't be prepared for what you're going to see. And the little town we were in, Golconda, got so dark that the street lights went on. We could hear cicadas and birds, and even this car's lights went on. After the eclipse, we could see these patterns from the trees on the sidewalks. Then I went to Cave In Rock. Known on the Ohio River is a place where river bandits used to hold people up as they traveled west. It was featured in the movie, How the West Was Won. In September, I went to Denver, visited my cousins Pete and Bill, and we toured the Rocky Mountains. And then we went to Waterworld, where we got to play with the twins, Cameron and Keon. In September, I went with my co-workers as we picketed for our new union contract. But the scariest part was riding in Rico's Jeep. Also in September was the end of my two-year service on a federal grand jury. It was really incredible and it was sad to see the moment when it was all ending. But the best part of the whole thing were the friends that I got to make. And we did meet for a tear-filled goodbye. And I'm going to miss my fellow jurors. This year, I got to go to a bunch of amusement parks. Went to Kings Island that I had not been to since 1986. We got to ride the new roller coaster, Mystic Timbers, which is really an excellent wooden coaster. And also while we were there, we got a behind the scenes tour of the world's longest roller coaster, The Beast. And we got to see what it looked like from behind the scenes. And it was pretty amazing. It was great to visit this beautiful amusement park again after so many years. I will be returning, that is for sure. While I was in Kansas City, I went to Worlds of Fun and Oceans of Fun, a great amusement park with this great roller coaster the Prowler made by the same company that made Mystic Timbers at Kings Island. They have a very pretty carousel and they have a very nice authentic steam locomotive. While in Denver I went with my cousin Bill to Elitch Gardens a very nice small amusement park that had some good roller coasters. Then in October, I went to Silver Dollar City with my friend Ron Tyndall, which is nestled in the Ozark Hills. While we were on one of the rides, my friend Ron sprung a leak. And they too have a very nice steam locomotive. But the highlight of my year was participating in the Coaster Challenge, where Six Flags Great America teamed up with Special Olympics Illinois to raise money for the kids in Special Olympics. We raised money and pledged to ride roller coasters. I had pledged to ride a marathon's worth of roller coasters, which is 26 miles. And that's 28 rides on Raging Bull. But guess what? I rode it 33 times. It was challenging to come up with a different pose each time I rode it. But as you can see, I sure gave it a try. Some of the kids from Special Olympics rode with us on some of the rides. It was so rewarding to see the determination and pluck in some of these kids. There was one little guy 
that didn't have full control of his left arm, but he still tried to put his arms up and ride. And when we got back to the station, he had an ear-to-ear -ear grin. He was having a better time than I was. This is my friend Ralph and me receiving our medals. But 2017 had its sad moments too. I lost my best friend from sixth grade, A.J. Carlson, and I miss him terribly. As you can see, I've done a lot this past year. Some of it's quite fulfilling. And as this year comes to a close, I want to leave you all with a message of peace and love. I wish everyone a very healthy and happy 2018. I hope you have a good year, and I look forward to seeing you again this time. Bye-bye.